Hey, Final Gamer. Hey, Combat Lobster. Final Gamer, have you ever wondered what it feels like to be a real boy? I've always wondered that for the rest of my life. Why? Uh, because that was a really creepy question, and I really hoped you didn't answer it. But that's all right. We're playing Pinocchio. Oh, boy! So this is one of those really strange games that I used to have as a kid, and I uh, figured we'd go ahead and show it off. We're going to be playing on normal, because playing on hard is... Well, it, it just makes everything tedious, so uh, we're going to just stick to normal. The, uh, for those of you that don't know the story of the, the game or the movie, uh, Geppetto makes a puppet. He likes it really much, so he wishes it, it was real. And then a blue fairy shows up and says, Hey, I'm going to make you real, but if you can prove that you get... If you can prove if you're truthful, brave, and... Uh, I forgot the last one. Unselfish. Yeah, that. You can become a real boy. And the first level has us going to school. Oh man, the the best first level of anything is going to school in life. I know. I you know every day I always imagine sending off many puppets to school. <laughs> so our first our first goal in the game is to go to school. It's pretty simple. Uh, although, Pinocchio doesn't actually have a concept of roads, so he's going to be taking a lot of scenic routes uh, across many rooftops. He understands the concept of roads at best, like a GPS. Yeah. Oh, that seagull was coming for you. Yeah. He's, uh, he's peering in for uh, a poking contest with Pinocchio. Uh... That white page we just picked up is a special item that gives us an ability in a later level. Oh. Which I will go into at a later time. Oh. I don't know. Those geese are gonna fuck you up. Oh, no, they don't. I'm gonna turn them against this dickbag kid that threw a rocket, I mean, a, a brick at me. Eat that kid. Oh, man, that's awesome. Surprisingly, that was one of the hints in the in the game's manual, because I, I I was just browsing through it real fast before we were recording. It had the hint saying, you can turn your enemies against each other. I totally forgot about that. That's awesome. I mean, I know Pinocchio has an attack of sorts, but um, that's la that later on, or...? Yeah, that's a later on thing. Surprisingly, that's a part of one of those little pages that you have to pick up. And I'm going to emphasize this right now. That one page that gives you the attack, you need to get that one. Otherwise, you can't beat the game at all. And that's surprising, because this game has cheats that let you skip the levels, but they don't give you the attack, so it practically makes that cheat worthless. Wow, oh, that, that cat dude was throwing shit everywhere. Yeah, he's a bit of a dickbag, and I don't even know if he has a name either. I know his, his partner in crime does. Yeah, Honest John. I don't remember the cat's name. Here, we, we're seeing a prime example that the collision detection is not that great in this game. Uh, no. Trying to grapple onto one of the, one of the ledges is kind of tough. You kind of have to jump way before, so that way the game will pick up on that. If you try to do it right, like naturally, it, it kind of goes through it. I did not know the attack you had to obtain from the pages. I thought you always had the attack. No, I found that out by replaying, and uh, it turns out that's probably a really shitty design decision that I really uh, wish they didn't do that. That really is. That was weird. I definitely remember using the attack in the first level. That's bizarre. Yeah, yeah, that's a terrible idea. That cat has it out for you, man. I know, he's a real asshole. He wants to use you as a scratching post. Well, <laughs> I guess so, but I don't know. I'd probably use a mallet to knock out our unsuspecting victim if we're going to use him as a scratching post rather than throw a, a boot. <laughs> but that's alright. Yeah. So what do the, um, the books do? The books, they give you a continue if you collect enough of them. On normal, they you requ they require ten books. Uh. And on hard and easy, I don't know those numbers specifically, but I'll have them on the video somewhere. Okay. So be on the lookout for that, viewer. Alrighty. Uh, the other collectibles, like the wand, they uh, they restore your health, and uh, surprisingly in this game, you can take a lot of damage before you end up dying, even on hard. Well, he is a wooden boy. I mean, he's quite, uh, he can take a lot of knockins. <laughs> a lot of knockins. Knock on wood. Yep. <laughs> and uh, the hats, if you collect enough of those, give you a extra life. 
Oh. Uh, for normal, it's five hats, so it's not that hard. For harder, and nor uh, easy, once again, they'll be on the screen somewhere. Mm. Or I, I might be lying, and I might forget to do that. I already forgotten a lot of this game, so this is very new to me. Yeah, I had to plow through a lot of the research uh, w the night before to uh, make sure I knew all this stuff. Pinocchio has such a wonderful uh, animation, though, like just skipping around, like, Oh, Seagull just pecked me in the face, I'll be fine! Yeah, I just fell from a rooftop. I'm alright, don't worry about it. His standard animation is my favorite one, because he's got a whole, Put him there! <laughs> Lovely to see ya! All right, we just picked up the most important item, the spin kick. Ah, oh, there we go. Spin kicking. But now we need to make a really good decision. Do we go on Easy Street or do we go to school? School? Easy Street? Easy Street? School? Oh, I don't know. Ugh. Let's go on Easy Street. Yeah! Oh, no! Uh-oh. We lost all our pages. <gasps> no! But not to fret, all the pages are available, and they're on the screen, too. Oh, wait, so, um, did we get taken back to a checkpoint? We got taken back to the pr the, the screen beforehand. Oh! So we didn't get taken f back far. We don't have to go through the entire level, luckily. Did you lose a life? Uh, no, we didn't. I'd be better not have, uh, otherwise I'm gonna be lying to you. But that's okay, that's a- lying is a part of this game's motif. That is true. And like I said, all the pages are on this area, so it's really easy to find. Also, if you don't feel like finding any of the pages, and you just decided to go down Easy Street, and you, you don't lose anything, at the same time, all the pages will respawn in those exact locations, so you don't really have to bother with finding them if you don't feel like it. I did not know Honest John is actually- oh! Oh, no, those geese, those geese don't want to fuck with John. He is immune to the geese. He has a geese repellent. Well, he is a fox. He knows that, the geese know that uh, he could fuck them up. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so yeah, if you don't feel like finding the pages, and you feel like speedrunning the game, you don't have to really bother with them. Just go down Easy Street, and you'll find them in this exact area, in these exact spots. Oh, wow. That's a speedrunning tactic right there. Cool. Yeah. Well, if you were speedrunning the game, you probably be, wouldn't even bother with collecting them, except for the very last one, which shows up right here. The red page. Do not, I repeat, do not finish the level without this page, otherwise you're going to screw yourself over hard. Right, so I get the red pages for attacking, but what do the other pages do? Well, the blue one lets you jump higher, and the other two will be coming into play in later levels. Oh, hey, we got the badge of truth. Yay, I'm honest, because I went to school. Yay! But, uh, screw that. Honest John has different plans for us. And we'll find out about those plans in the next video.